All right, so another kind of angle we have is something called a tangent chord angle. It's an angle formed by a tangent and a chord. You guys have seen tangents and tangent and a radius forming an angle. We learned that a tangent is perpendicular to the radius. So what if it's not the radius? Here, just in this picture real quick, we have a tangent and a chord forming an angle. This is not the radius, so I know it's not going to be 90 degrees. All right, so we have a theorem that says the measure of a tangent chord angle is equal to half the measure of its intercepted arc. So it's just like our inscribed angles. Inscribed angles equal to half the intercepted arc. Um, just it looks a little different when you have a tangent. So again, the thing we want to take note on is that the vertex is on the circle for a tangent chord angle. So if we have this picture right here, here's our tangent chord, then measure of angle AED, so AED, so the angle, so here's our, we're forming this angle right here. That vertex is on the circle. That's equal to half of the measure of arc ABE. And that arc is gonna be kind of the arc contained within. It's gonna be half of that arc. All right, so that is our tangent chord angle. Let's take a look at a couple, hopefully, quick examples. All right, so part A, um, given line BD is tangent to circle P at C, if the measure of arc AC is 88 degrees, what is the measure of angle ACB? So let's go ahead and find arc AC. So I'm at A, I'm gonna go directly to C. It's not a major arc, it's a minor arc. So if that arc is 88 degrees, what is the measure of angle ACB? So if I find angle ACB, that is a tangent chord angle. It's an angle formed by a tangent and a chord. So we just learned that a tangent chord angle, um, angle ACB, will be equal to half of that arc, AC. So we don't know angle ACB, that's what they're asking us to find. So angle ACB is equal to half of arc AC, which we just were told is 88 degrees. Half of 88 is 44. So angle ACB is 44 degrees. All right, part B. Given line EG is tangent to circle P at point F. So here's, we have another tangent line at point F. Um, and I can see we have a tangent chord angle right there. So we're gonna find a relationship. If the measure of angle GFC, so if this angle is 115 degrees, so I'm gonna highlight that angle, um, GFC. That's a 115 degree angle. What is the measure of arc FAC? All right, so I actually am gonna erase some of this other part of the picture. We're about to head that way. So arc FAC is, from F, I have to go through A to get to C. So it's this whole arc right there. So we know that our tangent chord angle, angle, um, GFC is equal to half of the intercepted arc FAC. So what do we know? They gave us the angle. We know this angle is 115. 115 equals half of its intercepted arc FAC. Oops. FAC. Now to figure out what the arc is, let's just multiply Ooh, got a high layer. That's weird. <laughs> Multiply by 2. Um, 2 times 115 is 230 is equal to those 2's cancel over here. Arc FAC is equal to 230 degrees. So arc FAC equals 230 degrees.